the PKK train daily in Kurdistan. It's claimed there are five million political members, thousands of whom live as freedom fighters on these remote mountains. The organization has rapidly grown in the last 20 years as a result of the Turkish government's persecution of the Kurds. Now Turkey is eager to join the EU, but still refuses to recognize the Kurdish existence and claims PKK is a terrorist organization, a view shared by its allies, including America. This is Haval Sozdar, that's how they call each other. The word Haval means companion, and uh, they have been very nice because they have given me permission to go and spend a day with them, with the PKK in the mountains. From here, I had to abandon my car and I was escorted to one of their camps. On our journey, I asked Zorda, what did she think about Turkey joining the EU? After several hours of crossing difficult terrain, we finally arrived at one of the camps, home to at least a hundred PKK fighters. At this point, I had no idea if I was in Iraq, Iran or Turkey. Like most Kurds, the PKK doesn't recognize these international borders that divide Kurdistan within its neighboring countries. Despite this, they believe this is their homeland. However, their presence here is creating further tensions between Turkey and the Kurdistan regional government in Iraq. Since the division of Kurdistan in the early 1920s, these mountains have been a refuge for the Kurds escaping the army of the occupying countries. I once before have come to the mountains to see the Kurdish freedom fighters, but those were the Iraqi Kurds fighting Saddam Hussein at the time. The first thing that struck me was the presence of women armed with guns. Especially in an Islamic and patriarchal society such as the Kurds. Zarin is 22 and has spent six years with the PKK. I was invited to their daily meeting where they discussed the party's politics and how they are perceived in the outside world. Many of the Kurds here lived in Europe and around the world as refugees, like Roj, who left Australia and came back to join PKK. And, uh, there is uh, injustices, there is oppression. You see those very clearly and which uh, drives you to Kurdistan. But how do you feel when the world and a good part of the Western countries and Europe mm -hmm. describe you as terrorist? Mm -hmm. The reason is, I guess, first of all, they do not understand and they do not want to understand the Kurdish question. For example, again, PKK wants to uh, a democratic and peaceful solution for the Kurdish question in Turkey, in, in whole of Kurdistan as well. Uh, saying that Kurdish question can and can be able to solve through peaceful and political uh, means, Turkey doesn't let and says, you know, PKK is a terrorist organization. Although outlawed, PKK consider themselves as a government with its own political, judicial and military structure. They believe their operations are a defense of their nation and therefore legally justified. However, they claim their ultimate goal is peace and democracy. Kati tu zor bas diki basi azadi diki basi ashti diki basi rezi mrov diki. Bas le haman kati tu dzani bani muna isti tu bakhod alire awa demanche hal girtua. Naka az lechiyajandikum berfeteki asiyasete brengeki azad. 
لی بازار بکیم نی نه جبو کیم سیاست آزاد بکن هول دانی مپر مزنن از بخو بری بیچون حیانی اروپا مچک جدانی مجلل لشکری جدانی ام چون وی داره برنج دموکراتیک برنج دیپلوماسی برنج ریختنی ام وی داره خبات بکن لی مخابن هیچی لسرم اینکار امهاه یعنی ما اینکار دکن ما امها دکن جبو بی جواب و پرستنه زیلان is seventeen fighting with the PKK for the past three years she is determined to keep her freedom not only as a Kurd but also as a woman. I wondered what she thought would happen to her if she was captured. This is a harsh reality to face, but they are all united in their beliefs. We take a shinira peshket. We, yani vira da jih girtan peshket. Usa hai lekim ni purjudanim. I asked her if she believes that Kurdistan can ever be free, and she says, "If I did not have that belief, I wouldn't be here." And I also believe that people needs hope. Without hope, you can't live, and that's her hope. Bawari minish harwaya. It's my hope too. It is this hope that keeps these people going. As I watch them dancing, I wonder why Turkey won't accept a peaceful solution with these people. I also find it strange that America and other states consider the Kurds in Iraq like me to be their allies, but they do little to improve the rights of 20 million Kurds in Turkey. This reminds me of the old Kurdish saying, the Kurds have no true friends but the mountains.